everybody. Um, greetings from Lima, Peru. Thanks for thinking of us here at this, this today. Um, today for me is the 1st of April and we're on our lockdown since the 15th of March here in, in Peru. Um, and this goes on until Easter Sunday, the, the 12th of April. But the President is saying that it will carry on in certain measures. It won't, does everything go back to normal? Otherwise, our curve will go up um, incredibly. So as you can imagine here, um, we're fine. I'm on my roof. I've got a lovely um, area where we sit and we can pray with Louisa, who's also here living in the building with me. So I'm not on my own. Um, but it's quite difficult for lots of other people. Um, the street outside is our children's playground. Uh, people are mending bicycles. People are selling things outside, um, which is not really allowed. The police are coming around quite often, especially in the evenings as well. Um, as from yesterday, our lockdown is from 6 p.m. until um, 5 a.m. Um, so that was difficult yesterday. Um, also yesterday, um, it rained so much. This is really unusual. Rained and rained for like three hours. So um, people today are having problems with le roof leaking roofs. Um, and then this morning the municipality came round, the local government came round, we all had to clean our streets at 8 o'clock. People were out there and people are out still cleaning now, um, disinfectant cleaning. Um, I think we've got some cases near here and that's why they're doing it now. So people are, are actually getting the message. Um, and then about uh, 9 o'clock, half past 9, no, 9 o'clock, there was a, a, a small earthquake. Um, and so I think, you know, <laughs> um, things are moving. But So on Sundays we just, me and Louisa gather together at the bottom of the building and the church area and we do the, we, I do a, a recording, I put the Bible passage on, I put a, a video song or we sing and then they join in. And um, we've even got some of people living in the north of the country joined in who are family members of people. So... Um, people that don't usually join us for worship are actually joining us. So, and then Tuesday we have Bible study, and we had it yesterday, and we just did the daily readings. And then um, each day in the morning I send a greeting on the WhatsApp group, and then um, give the readings, we do a prayer, and people during the day just send in things. Um, so at the moment I'm just trying to think about how to do Easter creatively, but pre please pray for this community. Um, it's very vulnerable. It's very fragile. People don't understand globally what's happening. Or if they do, they don't take it very seriously. Um, I know the situation for you in England is a lot different. But certainly for me living in the Shantytown community, I realise how fragile things are. Um, people do live hand to mouth. I've given out some food parcels and I've given out money to some people and the government has also been giving out um, food parcels well, and um, a bonus, so about £80, 360 solis. And also the health ambassadors are working with the vulnerable children. They've just sent money now to families to buy food and things for the next couple of weeks. So thank you for your prayers. I've sent some uh, items for prayer. And also, I've just CMS have just sent out my new prayer letter, so I hope that fills you in. Um, and we continue in this time of lamenting in Lent, a thing that I had started doing previously due to several factors, things going on here. And our world is in a fragile state at the moment. I don't think we can any imagine how things will go back to normal, whatever normal was. But thank you for your prayers, thank you for your support, and thank you um, for standing alongside our community and our people of Peru. God bless you all. Bye.